Okay, just go ahead and relax. Just relax. Okay, I'm just gonna borrow your arm. Just relax. Yeah. Cool. Relax. That is relaxing. <laughs> okay, so it stops right about there. So now, during proper shoulder range of motion, what should happen? Your clavicles should actually rise up like a bucket handle motion and come back. Your whole scapula should roll out to the side just like so, and your humeral head should drop. Those are all proper parts of shoulder range of motion. If one of those things does not happen, your shoulder will not be able to go through full range of motion. Another thing that's really important is the muscle that's right underneath your armpit, right through here, is called your serratus anterior. That is the muscle that holds your scapula onto your back and anchors that. If that muscle is not properly functioning, then guess what? Your shoulder itself becomes your anchor. And so you won't have full range of motion because that anchor is no longer there. And so your body is very smart in trying to adapt to the best it can for a lot of those things. So during this, we have to make sure that those proper motions are occurring. So when I bring his arm up through here, his muscle starts to bunch a little bit here and his clavicle doesn't fully rise up. So there's different things that I can do to help with that range of motion through more of a functional standpoint. So last time when I was here, um, if anyone saw the demonstration, I went nerve by nerve by nerve through testing certain muscles and showing how all of that part of those muscles connect back to the nervous system and how everything's connected through there. So we can do things very specifically individually, or we can look at more functional muscle groups itself. And so, as I mentioned, there is this little tool right here called an arthro. I know, I know, watch out. Called an arthro step and body taps just like that. Just like that. Oh, goodness. Is that painful? The right step on the network. Uh, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right underneath your clavicle and um, do an adjustment through this. But while I'm doing that, I want you to take a deep breath in and then let it all out. So deep breath in while you raise your arm up and then let it all out as you raise your, lower your arm back down. So go ahead and relax. So we'll do this together. So I'm gonna put this right here and I'm going to tap and I want you to go ahead and I'm gonna get right in front of you so that I don't catch your arm. So go ahead and raise your arm up for me. Deep breath in, all the way up, all the way up. Very good, keep going up. And let it all back down. And then same thing. Bring your arm all the way up, deep breath in. All the way up, and let it back down. Anyone else seeing that there's already range of motion increase? Okay, and I'm gonna come right through here, same thing. I'm gonna tap right along through here, and go ahead and raise your arm on up. Keep going, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Good and back down. Very good. So now, just after that, are you only going to do one arm? <laughs> 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 so check that out. So, a dramatic, you guys all saw it right there, how much is much motion increased. So why? Because his muscles, everything was not working in proper sequence together because they have to in that proper sequence to have full shoulder range of motion. And so, by going through this, I'm helping his body to do the natural thing itself and I'm rewiring the nervous system to do it together. So that's where I can either go nerve by nerve by nerve and check how everything is actually communicating or I can work with muscle groups and how things are sequenced together mm -hmm. to also enhance that and make sure that muscles are working together in balance. So again, just relax. Check that out. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that? So exactly. just so everybody knows, I'm, I, I dance, and I'm a dance instructor as well. But in, in that process, your arms and shoulders take a, take a beating. So that's part of the reason that I have difficulty lifting all that up. So that's really awesome. And so how does that feel to you? Because where people can see the range of motion decrease, um, increase. No, I can already, it it, it, you know, it, it feels about the same. But the thing is, is that now it feels the same here yeah. as it felt here before, right? So. So our, it feels the same, but so much increase. So much so increased range of motion, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna come right through here, and you're gonna do something, I'm gonna come in front of you so I don't get you wrapped up in the cord. So I'm gonna tap right through here, and you're gonna raise your arm up, and deep breath in, and let it all go back out. Same thing, deep breath in. Raise your arm all the way up, all the way up. Keep going, 
external rotation through our shoulders, which is so important, allowing cl actual clavicle motion to come up like it's supposed to, making sure, and I can do further exams, is that shoulder humeral head dropping the way it's supposed to? How are all the shoulder uh, rotator muscles working together? So that's what you can do as well, is look how everything works together. And so, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. It. You are very welcome. Woo!